Hi and welcome to another video here on UiPath with me, Jeppe. In this video, we are setting up UiPath for absolute beginners. So if you have never tried UiPath before, if you've never installed it, if you don't even know what it is, this video could be for you because in this video, we are going to set up an account in the UiPath Automation Cloud. We're going to download the software, install it, and get you going building your first automation. But before we get going, please uh, take your time to subscribe to the channel by clicking the red watermark in the lower right hand corner. And also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up at the end. Those are two things that are really helpful for my channel. So I hope you will do that. But let's get going. So I have a Windows PC here, and that's really all you need in order to get going with UiPath. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the UiPath website. So we go to uipath.com and then in the upper right hand corner here, there's uh, this button called try uipath free. Uh, we will uh, click that. And that will prompt us to either sign in or sign up. And we don't have an account for this user yet. So we're going to continue and set up an account for, for this user. So we'll click continue with email and then enter the email of this user. And we are just going to name him Bill, and then we will use my domain here, and then type in a password as well. And we'll continue. And what happens now is we need to verify that this is actually our email. So I'll go to my mailbox, and we will do a refresh. And there's an email waiting from UiPath that I need to verify my email address. I'll click it, and then I'll click the Verify Email button here. And if I now go back to the other window where we had the UiPath Cloud Platform, in just a second, there we go, the verification is complete, and now we can continue setting up the account. In the meantime, I'll just close the uh, other windows here in my browser. There we go. And now we can set up the account and we'll call the user Bill and we'll call him Jesperson. We'll also say that he is actually located in Denmark as I am. And we'll also opt in to receive uh, emails about products and stuff like that. Then we'll click next. And now we need to name Bill's organization. So we'll just call it Bill's company and we will click Create Organization. And that will take us to the UiPath Automation Cloud main page. This page is sort of the home page for all things UiPath Automation Cloud. Over on the left here, we have different services, and one of them, we'll just briefly look at that today, is the Orchestrator service. If we click that, we are going to be taken to what's called the orchestrator. And this is where you can schedule all of your automations. Once you build them, you can set up permissions and users and stuff like that. We're not going to deal with that in this video, but now you know that you have something called orchestrator. Uh, and I'll just go back to the home page here because the next thing we want to do is we want to download the software in order to start developing our own automations. So I'll click the download UiPath Studio button here. And it'll start downloading and that will take a while. So I will pause the video and get back to you once the download has finished. Okay, so the download has finished and I'll just minimize my browser, go to my downloads folder here, and we can see that we have this UiPath Studio community uh, file sitting here. If we double click that, the installation of the software will start. I'll just close the folder and we'll wait for the installer to ask for more information. So it asks us if we want to do a quick installation that's recommended for community users or we want to do a custom installation. And that's something that's recommended for enterprise or advanced users. For this video, we are doing the quick installation. So I'll just click, I accept the terms in the license agreement. You should of course read that. It's probably really, really long, but I'll just say, okay, and then click install. The installation is also going to take a while and I will fast forward for a while. And if any questions come up along the way, I will of course answer them and then we'll get the installation done.
Okay, so a little while into the process, we get this uh, prompt here asking if we want to install the UiPath extension for Chrome. If we do so, we need to close all of our Chrome processes and then click the OK button. And we do want to install that uh, extension for Chrome, so we will just uh, take our browser, close it, and click the OK button and the installation will continue. And that completes the setup of UiPath Studio. And uh, we can now go ahead and click this Launch UiPath Studio button. And the first thing we see is that we need to sign in in order to get started. So we'll click the Sign In button. Then we will click to enable this extension. And then we have a problem with our browser. And this is something that comes up every now and then. I've seen this before. So what you need to do in order to uh, move on here is you need to clear the cache in your browser. So if you're using Chrome as I am, just go to the address line here and type in clear cache, if I could spell it right. And then you can press this button called clear browsing data. And we'll clear the data close the window and go back and click the sign in button once again. And that should take us to the actual sign in page. Here we'll need to continue with email and then type in the email and password for that account. And click the sign in button. Then it's going to ask us if it is okay that the browser opens the UiPath application. And we are always going to allow it to do that. So we'll just select the checkbox and click Open UiPath. What that means is now we are signed in to both the UiPath Cloud Platform and also into Studio. So I'll just close the browser here in the background. And this gives us this selection box where we can choose between UiPath Studio and UiPath Studio X. And these are two variants of the development tool. And for right now, we're going to go with Studio X. And then within Studio X, we will actually switch the user profile so we can also start using it as UiPath Studio. The main difference between the Studio X and the Studio profiles inside of the development tool is that Studio X is more minded sort of towards uh, business users that don't have a lot of software development experience. And UiPath Studio is sort of the enterprise tool if you want to really build some advanced automations. We click Studio X. And the tool opens and we are immediately shown uh, this uh, dialog here where we can watch a short introduction video. We can learn how to build automations uh, using the step-by-step -step instructions. And we can also be taken to the UiPath Academy. The UiPath Academy is completely free and it contains a ton of courses that I would recommend that you check out. Uh, but for right now, we'll just click the close button. Then I'll go up here and say that we want to create a new task and we'll select the blank task template. And we'll just let the name be new blank task number one, click create. And now we are actually building our first automation. Okay, so now we're inside Studio, we are actually inside the first project. And over here on the left, we have this uh, sort of toolbox with all kinds of activities that we can then drag into our canvas here in the middle and start uh, shaping our automation using these activities. We'll just quickly start the calculator. And then we are going to drag in this use application or browser activity. And that will prompt us to actually point to the application that we want to uh, automate. So I'll click that link, click on the calculator, and now I can start dragging in more activities. For example, I can drag in a click activity, and then I can say, okay, I want to indicate in the calculator what button do I want to click. I want to click the one button, and then I'll verify that by or confirm that by clicking the little check mark. And now we have an activity that first starts the calculator, then clicks the one button. So if I close the calculator again, 
and then now click the play button inside Studio. That is going to minimize Studio, Startup Calculator and click the one button. And I know that's a very simple automation, but it is an automation and it's your very first automation in UiPath Studio. So that's all we're going to do in this video. One thing I want to show you before we go is how you switch from this Studio X profile to the Studio profile where you can do some more advanced stuff. You do that by going to the Home tab up here at the top, go to Settings, go to License and Profile, click Change Profile, and then you are shown this dialog again where you can switch between the UiPath Studio Profile and the Studio X Profile. So of course we'll click the Studio Profile, and when asked if we want to restart Studio, we have no option really other than to say yes. And Studio is going to restart. And we can actually open the project that we started in Studio X here in Studio. And in here we will need to open the main workflow. And that will open the file that contains the workflow we just built. And that's one of the differences between Studio X and Studio, is that you can have multiple files in your projects. But this automation should work just as it did before. So we'll click the Play button. And with a little luck, it should start up the calculator and press the one button again. And there we go. So that's a very, very quick introduction to how you set up an account in the UiPath Automation Cloud, how you download UiPath Studio and how you install it and get going building automations. Now, I know that you haven't really seen much in the way of building automations, but there are tons of tutorials out there. I'll put out more videos myself. And if you want to stay tuned to those, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Bye.